Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Marquette Lately. That's right. We're back again, again. Oh. Oh, crap. Yo. Are you dead? I'm on me. Our mothers are here. Come on. We got a show to do, bro. Let's go over. Let's get after it. Uh. Sorry, all these midterms got me studying and not sleeping. and um, But anyways, uh, we're... Oh, we're on late, lately. Uh, <laughs> ready, ready to start a new episode of Marquette lately. lately. So now, guys, I don't know about you, but come on, you got to admit my prediction of last year, or of last episode. I'm sorry, Sean Kingston was dead yeah. at you that show. Spot on. It was yeah. dead, man. I mean, it was, it was something else. I mean, we got an email as he was performing saying, "No ticket necessary. But, just come on in." Oh yeah, but they email blasted something. the entire student body. It is crazy because they told us that it was sold out. Mm. Exactly. I went home thinking I couldn't go. <laughs> I, I went home as well. Remember, we talked about we on did. this first episode. We did. We said mm-hmm. we yeah. couldn't get tickets because he sold out. Yeah. And you know, Sean even thought as we were there and the theater was like a quarter of the way full only. He thought it was sold out. He said, yeah, we sold out. I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> but it's crazy because we all skipped it, but you was there. You went. I was there. You know, I got to support my childhood song creator, and it was a good experience. Music was good. His stage presence wasn't quite there, but he was kind of an icon, you know, so. Icon? Yeah. I mean, that's When we were, like, eight years old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with- I, let me ask you this. What was his best song at the, for his, uh, his performance? Ooh, Eeny Meeny. That song is pretty fire. Eeny Meeny Money Mo. Mm-hmm. Do you think that song? Yes, that's what I'm saying. So many people I didn't know don't that. know. So no. many people, like, you probably would know every song. Mm-hmm. But, anyways, besides the concert. Okay, so who here has watched or heard of the new Netflix show Squid Game? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, it is well. on track to become the most watched Netflix show in history. I think it's there. See, Miles, we're always behind. So I we, guess we, we so. Don't know I've never is. seen it. Amani and I, Amani and I are next door neighbors, so we we ripped through that. Show so put quick. put me and Miles on right now. What? Well, uh, you you guys have heard of it, right? At least I've seen it on heard like. It. So, so TJ, you can go ahead and give a little synopsis of the I mean, show. Well, yeah, I mean, so away. essentially, this show is like it's a it's a death race. I mean, essentially, oh. they are all broke. They all are in need of money, and this and it's not a company, but it's some organization offers them a way to earn mi- billions of dollars, and essentially, they fight for the death for it. Yeah, so, so if you and kill everybody, you get the money. Uh, essentially, yeah, without, without giving too much away, we don't want to reveal too oh, many okay. details. It sounds, However, it sounds like. The Purge. And Hunger it Games. It is. It's like the Purge. Hunger Games. very in inspiration the from The Purge, I'd say. Mm. Um, now, TJ, I have to ask you this because these two haven't seen the show, but do you think the popularity will be able to be maintained for the next at least Oh, I mean, I minutes, think or? so. As long as these producers keep coming up with um, other subplots for the story, I think it can go a long way. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'd say. So, Marquette, they just put y'all on to the Squid Game. Squid Game, there check it go. out. I might have to watch it. Yes, I don't even sir. like blood. <laughs> Something else that we've noticed um, is with fall break and Halloween approaching and maybe the full moon's coming and stuff, the visitation rules are getting a little stricter. I, I mean, hate, I oh, hate, a little. I, hate I don't even want to talk about visitation violations. I hate these private school rules. I know. It's, yeah. not, oh. it's, it's not the, it's not the, it's not the rules, but it's the, it's the logic behind them. That what is very they, true. What do they think is going to happen past 1 a.m. That, that can't happen at 12.30, say? So or, smart. Or, uh, very true, very true. Uh, it does not quite make sense, but you win some, you lose some, you know. It's, well, Miles works as a DR, so you got the inside scoop. Yeah, what, what do they do about What's those up? rules? What's up? What's up? X, DR. No. You quit? You quit? quit? Yeah, there it is. Bravo! We wow. knew you hated wow. that job. We knew I'm you hated that job. You're free. You was oh. my you was my favorite DR though. I don't like a lot of them, but you was my guy. That makes me feel special. I met yeah, Johnny. Sorry. Johnny was one of my residents. It's so <laughs> interesting to me that a job of scanning IDs for seven dollars an hour could be that bad. Eight. But yes, it's terrible. <laughs> don't recommend it to anyone. Wow. Shout out shout out Sarah Richardson. True. You know, r- regarding all the policies and everybody getting in trouble lately that I know, I just I had a long self-reflection on my time here and I just wanted you guys to to see. Oh, great. Take a look. Yeah. Many traumatic events have occurred here since my time began. I have to question the authority and the people in power and how they come to making the decisions that they make. I know my friends 
and I know myself, and I also know that the people in power must be stopped. It is outrageous what has begun here on campus, and if we can put an end to it soon, that would be greatly appreciated. I don't understand. Well, that was very reflective. That was and very you know, mature of you. It was, a, it was a little more dramatic than I remember it being, but I get, think it has to be. The message got across. Yes, yes. I agree. I, point. Your quality on that—that that was <laughs> marvelous. Aside from the video, <laughs> we do have something more important to attend to. We have some very special guests with us tonight coming to us live in the studio via Zoom, our very own mothers. Welcome, moms. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hi, mom. Hi, mama. So Hi, mama. before we, oh, and they brought some very embarrassing photos of us that we have yet to see. Um, so without further ado, moms, you ready to get into this? Yes, yes. Let's go. All right, let's do it. First oh, photo, throw it up. Ooh. All right, wow. So, wow. There's a lot. Fashion icon. There's a lot going on in this photo. That's light skin tees. I mean, mom, how did you <laughs> let me exit the house looking like that? Like why? TJ, you had your you had your own mind, and you were determined to wear that outfit to the first middle school dance. Oh, and you had not. You you just let me walk right out the door. No no protection. No like you might get bullied. None of that. <laughs> Listen, you you had confidence back then, and you just you did what you wanted to do. So you look pretty snazzy. I'm not gonna lie. The bell. Did you approve of his date that he brought to the dance? Um, they, I don't think they were allowed to bring dates. Catholic uh, school. Oh. Catholic school rules. We Catholic school. Oh, okay. Our Ladies Academy. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's an even worse. <laughs> Captain Von Trapp. All right. So, mom, why did you choose this photo? Well, you know, I, I don't know if everyone knows that you did musical theater from grade one all the way through grade eight. Oh, and um, just, Captain just Von Trapp was one of there, your favorite right. roles. That's true. I was Captain Von Trapp in The Sound of Music. Well, thank you for bringing that. Round of applause. Round of applause to TJ's mom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> next up, let's get into the next picture. Oh. Miles. Oh. Miles. <laughs> Young Miles in the flesh. My head. <laughs> Well, Mama, why did you pick this picture? This is from Christmas. Yeah, that was a Christmas picture. When I just figured everyone does the pajama thing at Christmas time, so <laughs> and those were your favorites. So I thought that would be a good picture to share. I love it. Thanks, Miles. When we was in your apartment, I saw them on your bed. I did too. <laughs> <Same> oh. <way>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Probably so, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Ooh, yeah, this okay. one, okay. Fly boy, fit check, fit check. Fit check. My mom has always loved to dress me and she, I've always been her little doll, so. <laughs> but mama, why'd you pick this one? Well, I thought I would, I would, I tried to pick a variety. You had a lot of personality as a, as a little boy and you were only maybe two or three years old then, just so much personality whenever we, get you in front of the camera or anything. You just always had a lot of personality. So okay. I thought that would be a good one to share. Just like my mother. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Oh, oh, oh to me, man. straight on to Imani. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look at the hair. That's mm. me in the white shirt. Mom, can you uh, explain why you sent that picture in? <laughs> you were a baby born with so much hair. You had your actual first haircut, like, me sitting down at one week. <laughs> wow. You had so much hair. One week. That is wild. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh that's, a good one. that's the one I was waiting for. I was waiting for <laughs> that, that seven times. <laughs> you, you had you had all the girls with that one. <laughs> Look at the shirt. You look like you get A's. TJ, you were talking about your mom letting you leave the house like that. Mom, I got the same question for you. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like your hair short until you let it grow long. Nah, I this know. is definitely the glow up of the century. That was terrible. <laughs> now you put it back. <laughs> I love glasses. it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, next up. All right, so oh. the cap off, Ma. Tell everybody what you made me that day. <laughs> Spaghetti. One of your favorite meals. Yeah. I, I, I caught you off guard. You didn't even know that I was taking the picture. You got it. it. Locked in she caught you, you got it. You got it hanging out my mouth. 
<laughs> I, I'm glad you're coming back tomorrow. I, I miss your oh. cooking. Oh, but I won't be able to cook for you tomorrow. I'm going to come to the hotel. <laughs> they have good popcorn that you can put in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have our mothers here today with us because tomorrow is the start of Parent Weekend. Let's give it Who's up. Who's excited for Parent Weekend? Go yeah. go so we got we got my mother and TJ's mom coming from the East Coast. My mom's coming from Belvedere, Illinois. And my mom came to visit last week because my schedule is a book this weekend. So, yeah. All right, guys. We're looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. But thank you thank so much you again all. for we joining us. We love you guys. Bye, mama. We love you, moms. Grateful Bye -bye. for everything you do. We love, love you. you too. Love you too. See you soon. Wow. I love my mom. I love my mama I too. Love my mama. We love moms here. All right, and that's all the time we got for now. But don't go anywhere because next up, we have a little skip for you right after the break. We'll yes, see sir. you later. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. All right, welcome back to Marquette Lately. Wait, 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 wait. I just got word from the producers that we have Matt back on the streets. Let's take a look All at right. that before we get Matt, into Matt. I'm back. It's me, Matt, from Matt on the Street. Today we're going to be talking to some folks out on the street about how they're feeling about upcoming midterms. Come on. I have all the epidemics. <laughs> this is where I filmed my last episode last year. Classic. All right. Who's going to be our first victim uh, participant? Par participant, not victim. Good, good. Well, what's your name? Uh, Victor. Victor. I'm Matt from Matt on the Street. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. As you know, or maybe not know, we've been here four weeks already. Four weeks. We're a quarter of the way through the semester with midterms quickly approaching. How are you feeling? I think I'm doing well so far. Okay. I'll probably have to study a bit more, but you know, we'll see how we'll get there. We'll you get there. always got to keep up the studying, all right? <laughs> all right. Anything else you'd like to say to the wonderful viewers at home? Hi. That's all. <laughs> Hi. You can, you can quote him on that. All right, get out of here. Come, okay. come on, come on. How's it going? Good. I'm Matt from Matt on the Street. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Nico from Marquette University. Nico, as you may or may not know, we're a fourth of the way through the semester with midterms quickly approaching. How are you feeling? Um, I've been procrastinating a lot. I'm not going to lie. Okay, like, yeah, don't lie, don't yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah. I got an exam today in that building. I don't know yeah. anything for it. What's the exam for? Theology. Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. I'm praying for you. Thank you. See what I did there? Yes. Wasn't Thank it you. funny? It was very funny. Look at that. Audience testimony. Freshman? Come on. First year. What's with all these first years not understanding the difference? Can you believe that we're a fourth of the way through the semester already? A little bit. Yeah. Not a lot, but enough, you know? Well, with midterms quickly approaching, how are you feeling? I'm doing good. Yeah, what are you studying right now? I'm doing a chem lab report. Chem lab report. What about? Uh, atomic spectra. I don't know the first thing about that. <laughs> Na, 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 na. Tequila. First year. Yeah. Yeah. We're already four weeks in. How are you guys feeling? 
Um, feeling pretty good. Getting used to it, so it's getting better as yeah. like you know weeks go on. Overwhelmed. Yeah. yeah. But all right, we could do some. We could do some some meditations. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tree pose. Yeah. Come on, tree pose. Uh, okay, me. okay, let's tree pose. Tree pose. <laughs> and uh, warrior. Okay, okay. okay. Warrior. Yeah, you got it, yeah. All right, look, they're relaxed already. <laughs> Just a hard day's work for me, Matt from Matt on the Street. You guys have a great day. Get yeah, out of here. Yeah, have you a good too. One. <laughs> Just need to relax a little bit. Just need to. Chill. I'm Matt from Matt on the Street. What's your name? What was that? Al. Al. Nice to meet you, Al. I'll tell you. You know, midterms are quickly approaching. Are you prepared? As prepared as I can be at this point. As prepared as he can be at this point. Thank you, Al. It's a loud place. Lawn mowers, construction. Moving cars, random screams, ah! Just the sounds of the city. What are you up to? Just walking around, cool. seeing how people are doing on the street. Day out. It is a beautiful day out, Ellie. I will tell you that much. It is beautiful. Cool. What are you interviewing for? Matt on the street. It's a segment of Marquette Lately, Thursday nights. Look in the. Perfect. Thank you, Ellie. Very cool. I'm Matt from Matt on the Street. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Jazz. Mm. Did you hear that? Say that again to the camera. Jazz. What a beautiful name. Thank you. What are you studying today? Um, chemistry. All right. She's got this. All right, well, I'll let you get back to your studying, all right? Have a wonderful day. Good feeling about midterms coming up. A little bit of procrastination, but hey, what are you gonna do? So if we've learned anything today, it's that Marquette's midterms are in place. My cameraman's SD card is out of space. So our show's over, but we can't be beat. I'm Matt, and this has been Matt on the Street. Back to you guys in the studio. I love when my boy Matt's on the show. Isn't that right? Yes, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even know midterms were like an actual thing, so I'm glad Whoa. I'm glad I saw that. <laughs> you saw Amani was asleep earlier. I know. But here we go. Now we'd like to welcome our very special guest straight out of Kobe Hall, Zeta Danger Field. So Zeta is a Marquette cheerleader and she is going to teach us some moves that we will all try our best to replicate and not embarrass ourselves. Yes, Zeta, show us what you've got. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna walk through with you, right? And then we'll do it. I'm supposed, I'm supposed to do yeah, it. Yeah, we could. Come on, you a cheerleader. Okay. Let's go. I'm doing it right now. Right now. Yeah. Okay, right. so you start off like this. One, two, Right. Three, four, Ooh. Ooh, I hit five, you. six, Ooh. seven, Ooh. eight. I feel like Michael one, Jackson. One, two, three, four. Better than Michael. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you go seven, eight. One, two, three. And then you wow. Go you look like Backstreet okay. Boys. I that's, see what's that's up. What they call you, okay. That's what they told you from our here? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do we, have a, do we have a song for this? Oh, yeah. We got Should this. We okay. try it? Easy. First take. Let's go. Ooh. Hey! Ooh. 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 Come on. There's a little bit of rhythm there. <laughs> I do this. He, he did it better. That's what I'm saying. Can we join Marquez cheer team? Sure. Try out. We Are need more guys. Mm -hmm. No, actually, we need more guys. All right. I'll think <laughs> about actually, it. try out. No, I can't actually. flip though. All right. All right. Let's, it's okay. Let's run it one more time. One more time. All right. Time. Let's do it one more okay. time. All right. Uh. Should we try it without your help this time? Yeah. This is our This is our tryout. This is our tryout. Marquette cheer if you're watching. Here's our official tryout. NCAA tournament. Wait. Woo! Yeah, we killed that. Are we in? 
Yeah, I think TJ it. needs to be Try a cheerleader. TJ, you, 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 you were in musical Please theater. He could be one of those girls <laughs> in the air. Yeah, no doing. Now nah, you just got a cast. <laughs> All right, great stuff, Zeta. Thank you, thank you, thank you Zeta. Thank you very much. On the show tonight. Well, stay tuned for more antics right after the break. Right after the break. We'll be right back. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. When I first saw Turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with Turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. Okay, Lily, like once more. Question. Yes, Les. Welcome back to Marquette Lately once more. Yes, yes. Let's get some cheers for our live studio audience. Yes, sir. And let's welcome back Zeta, who is going to help us with our game. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's play the Whisper Challenge. Yes. Ooh. So how this game is going to work, it is going to be like a combination of lip reading and telephone. So Zeta is going to tell me a message while I have my AirPods in blasting music so I don't know what she's actually saying. And I'll give her the thumbs up when I think I got it. She'll remove herself from the chair. I'll go over there. Miles will stand where I was, and then I will repeat the process all the way down to the last being TJ. TJ will be the final one to sit in the chair, and he will say what he thinks the message was as it traveled through all of us. So let me get my music set real quick. All right. Put that raw wave on. What's everyone listening to? I'm bumping the weekend. Uh, Apostapa. I'm going to blast the weekend too, actually. All right. All right. Give me one second. Same. Sorry, Zeta. I'm not trying to hold this up here. All right. Here we go. Okay. Shaka Smart and the Golden Eagles will tear you apart like some savage seagulls. <laughs> Shaka Smart. And the golden eagles will tell you, tear you apart like some savage seagulls. Shaka smart and the sad and the golden eagles will tear you apart like some savage seagulls. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. Johnny sits with Seth and TJ watches a movie on the couch. <laughs> Johnny sits with Seth and TJ watches a movie on the couch. Sorry, One more time. Johnny sits with Seth and TJ watches a movie on the couch. I have no idea what he, I'm just gonna. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, soap, rinse, bath. <laughs> soap, rinse, bath. <laughs> soap, rinse, bath. Are you good? Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Shaka Smart can't breathe. <laughs> One more time. What? Shaka Smart he can't breathe. Shaka. One more. He told me Shaka Smart can't breathe. Huh? <laughs> One more. Like, give me one more. Shaka Smart can't breathe. Why do you say can't breathe? <laughs> So what I heard from that was I heard Shaka Smart can't read. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, it was Shaka Smart and the Golden Eagles 
Eagles will tear you apart like some savage seagulls. You did not say all that. I didn't no. say <laughs> any of that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I said so you much. Shock I smart. thought he said so I thought he said shock and smart. I thought he said Johnny and Seth. I'm confused because I said so bad. <laughs> first, I thought you cursed me out. I heard oh, you thought I cussed at you? I thought you said something. Why do you keep thinking I cussed? Um, <laughs> all I heard was Johnny and Seth watch a TV on a movie or something. That's what it is. Wait, wait, can we do one more redemption round? Can you just make up a phrase? I think we have time. Yeah, we, we got, we we got time, time. so let, let's, let's fill the time okay. up. All right, because I right. think we can do better. Yeah, come we on, can definitely on, do better. Maybe just make it a little shorter, because that was so long. Like, and Imani, actually, at least I got word the shot with your lip. Okay. I will, okay, okay, hold like, on. Let open me your get mouth. this set up again. Got my music in again. All right, just give me a second. <laughs> I like to go to a game. <laughs> I like to go to a game. <laughs> I like to go to a game. <laughs> I was gonna say a basketball game, but it was too late. All right. <laughs> Ready? I like. Seth Rogen movies. I hear Marley right now. I like Seth Rogen movies. <laughs> I got this one. I got this one. Why'd you take your airplane? Okay, ready? No. Oh. I like Seth Rogen movies. <gasps> I like Seth Rogen movies. I like, <laughs> like, like, okay, Seth, don't act it out. Seth Rogen, <laughs> oh, got it, okay, there you go, you got it. Who said that was oh. easy? <laughs> I like Seth Rogen. What? <laughs> oh, wait, that was good. <laughs> I know, but they're doing this good. This is a good yeah. one. I heard. I like Seth Rogen. Let's go! Ah, <laughs> we got, we got. Wait, you guys started? did it right, starting with Miles, but I said I like to go to a game. Oh. Who said Seth Rogen? But Miles said that. No, because here's the thing. Who said no, Seth not, Rogen? Cause, <laughs> no, no, because these guys scream when they do it, so they can definitely hear oh. it. Like, I can't hear anything. You said it oh. normal volume. Okay, you said, said Seth, Seth like Rogen. Did you not say that? And my stuff was, no, I did. I did. Okay, you got it right from me. But, but let's get a round of applause. Thank for you, Zay. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. So I still won. I won. Thank but you, here we go. Here you go, boys. Unfortunately, that's all we have tonight. Yes, sir. But thank you so much for tuning in. And to you, our studio audience, it would not be the same we without you guys. Cheers. 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 Be, sure to oh, be sure to follow us on all our social medias, too, for more content in the meantime. Thanks for sticking around for tonight's show, and we hope to see you next week for another episode of Marquette Lately. Lately. Good, night. Good night, everybody. Peace out. to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love.